and it's you guys you guys i took a nap what time it's 8 30 it is 8 30 i did not mean for that to happen i am so sorry you guys i have been so tired today we ended up waking up really early so that we could celebrate the museum and then you know today it was just so rainy and overcast here and i ended up stretching out on my bed just to close my eyes for a few minutes and the next thing i know i had taken a four hour nap so my apologies that the afternoon episode of our animal crossing adventures here on wild berry island um, have kind of turned into the evening episode, but we're back! So hello everyone! I hope you've all had a wonderful morning since earlier today, and you're ready for more adventures here in Wildberry, where we celebrated the opening of our museum earlier, and where now we're going to be able to sell some of our extra bugs. Let me go ahead and collect these guys up. Alright, come on you giant stink bug. And I also managed to catch, just before I took my nap earlier, a praying mantis who was hanging out on some of our hyacinths, which is just so exciting. We'll turn him into blathers and have another amazing insect uh, that we'll be able to add to our museum. Um, and I just noticed, man, that wasp head is so cool! I can't wait to turn this place into a really, really cool little biology classroom where we'll be able to learn so much about the wonders of the natural world and the wonders of Wildberry. Oh, oh my goodness, plus I'm still waking up, so truly, sorry about that. I really did not mean to take such a long nap, but Chips was so pleased. He was like, you haven't been feeling good lately, so I'm so glad you got to sleep for so long. I was like, darling... Four hours is not really a nap in the middle of the afternoon. That was a sleep. I'm going to be awake all night long now. So we'll have to see what happens. And don't worry, I with everything that's going on, the reason I'm not feeling very well is mostly just, you know, a, a little bit tired from the, the stuff that's going on in the world right now and trying to figure out what Chips and I will do for our wedding. And I have my birthday in two days, actually. That's coming up on the 26th. And there's also about three inches of pollen everywhere here right now that makes me tired from spring allergies. So don't don't worry, it's just like spring allergies and, and stress, but not, you know, it's just stress. Everything that's, things that are going on. And also figuring out what to do for my wedding and my birthday, which are both coming up very soon. <sighs> but you know what? Deep breaths and look at this beautiful world. This is how I can step away from that stress and share something amazing with you guys. So, all right, I have a lot of presents to gather up from my friends, and there is a certain rug merchant that I saw wandering around, which I'm very excited about. I have some gifts from my friends. Oh, and Ursula, how are you doing? Perfect fishing weather. Time to catch a few fishies. Oh my gosh, Ursula is so cute. Let's see. I want to see... Uh, oh, by the way, guys... I visited with the rug merchant last night, like I said, with a whole bunch of my friends who happened to have her come by. But I saw her wandering our island today, so let me see if I can find her. And we'll talk to her in just a minute. Because she is going to be oh so very amazing. Oh, there she is! There she is! I found her! You guys, it's Sahara! Okay, so this is the first thing that we will be doing today to make sure we don't miss out on Sahara, who has come to our deserted island carrying all of her wonderful wares. Hello, you are calling me Sahara, for it is the name I have carried for as long as I have carried these rugs. I bring these rugs from my home, which is far, to help you decorate your home, which is near. I have small rugs, large rugs, and rugs of the medium space between. The design is seen after the buying. I also have mysterious flooring and wallpaper. Oh, how surprising you will find it. Are you ready to buy? So this is very exciting. Sahara sells rugs and wallpaper and flooring that you cannot find at Timmy and Tommy's shop. And some of the things she sells are miraculous. Truly the kind of things that will make us gasp in surprise like some sort of landed fish. Alright, so one of the cool things about what you buy from her 
is you can get one mysterious walling and one mysterious flooring every time she visits. It's random, but it will be the same thing. So if you really like like the mysterious wallpaper you get and you want to give some to your friends or you just want to have lots of copies, you can buy the same one when you just order the mysterious wallpaper again and again from here. Same with the mysterious flooring. It will always be the same. She won't randomize it until her next visit. However, when you buy the rugs, I'll show you what happens. Yes, a rug for your purchasing. What size shall the rug of yours be? Small rug is 1,000 bells. Medium rug is 1,500 bells. Large rug is 2,000 bells. Yes. So the rugs will all be the same too. So if you have a friend and you're like, whoa, she's selling a really cool medium rug, it's amazing. Then you can buy them two, like you could get two of the same rug and give your friend one. Or you could have like your friends come and buy from her. That's what we were doing last night. And when you buy a rug, you get something special. So let's start with the small rug. Ah, my favorite size. Now please, I will accept the money payment. All right, there you go, Sahara. She's so cool. I'm so glad we have enough money to buy as much as we want from her. When customer smiles, my heart and purse grow one size bigger. I have exchange ticket as bonus for good soul who buys good rugs. And this is where things get really exciting. We want that exchange ticket. If you save up five tickets, you can trade for mysterious wallpaper or mysterious flooring. And these will be the randomized mysterious wallpaper and mysterious flooring. So you absolutely want to get them. You can only get one mysterious wall, one mysterious ticket exchange wallpaper or one mysterious ticket exchange flooring at, at, at like every visit. So we want 10 tickets from her. And then in exchange for those 10 tickets, we will get one randomized, really awesome, super special, sometimes very rare, mysterious wallpaper, and ditto with the flooring. So I'll show you guys what I mean. You bought a small rug, so that means one ticket is now yours. Yay, thank you, Sahara. I hope you will buy again. May the tickets tempt you. All right, so what'd she give us? So here is the Sahara ticket, and these will be used in exchange. Let me move it over here. They will be used to exchange for the mysterious flooring. And we have a blue design kitchen mat. Ooh, interesting. We'll look at it after we finish buying everything from her. Again, hello. Did you require rugs for your naked floors? I have mysterious wallpaper and, and flooring as well. All right, so let's get the rug. So let's get the medium rug this time. Because this will give us two exchange tickets. Ah, my favorite size. She says that about every size rug, which is so freaking cute. You will like the rug. I will like the money. All will be happy and well. Here is your bonus of exchange tickets. You bought a medium rug, so that means two tickets for you. Yay! So now we have three tickets. Thank you very much, Sahara. Now we just need two more tickets, but we also want her large rug. Alright, let's grab the large rug, please. Ah, my favorite size. <laughs> I love how she says that about every size of rug. So now we have the three rugs that she will sell today, and those rugs will be different next time she visits, or if she is on someone else's island the same day. Here is your bonus of exchange tickets. You bought a large rug, so that means three tickets for you. Thank you, Sara. Mm, five exchange tickets you have collected. Now, are you wa wanting your mysterious wallpaper or equally mysterious flooring? And here is the really fun one. Okay, we'll go with the wallpaper the first time. Yes, it is understood, of course. Wallpaper, flooring, which of these whisper to you? Let's do wallpaper. And we will exchange the five tickets, which I think you can actually give to your friends since, you know, they're items that go in your inventory. You will want more after this, yes. Using one will make you excited for another one, and so on. I hope you will buy again. May the tickets tempt you. Alright, so we're, we're actually going to leave the one that we exchanged a mystery until the end. So let's go ahead and get the flooring from her, which means extra rugs, but I have an idea of how we're going to use those. So we need five tickets. I already have one ticket, so we'll get two medium rugs real fast. Oh! Oh! And she told us the fluffy rug! Cute! 
All right, so we're gonna go ahead and buy the fluffy rug from her again. Thank you, Sahara. I can't wait to see what it looks like. I might give it to some of our villagers. That'd be really a great way to use the rugs, to send them to like our villagers as gifts. All right, thank you, Sahara. I'm gonna go ahead and buy the fluffy rug again. Because that's the only way to get your little rug exchange tickets, is to just buy a ton of rugs. <laughs> we were all joking last night that Sahara cleaned us out on our money, and we cleaned her out on rugs. But she, like, is just sitting in a palace made out of our gold now. <laughs> Alright, that should be the exchange tickets. There we go. And now we will get the mysterious flooring. The exchange mysterious flooring. And then we'll buy a mysterious flooring and a mysterious wallpaper from her. Alright, there we go. So exciting. Trust me guys, these are worth it. Usually. You will want to see Sahara again, yes? Decorating with this will make you restless for more mystery. Alright, and now we have all of the tickets. We have the two special items which are sitting between our piles of rugs that she gave us for the exchange tickets. We cannot get any more exchange ticket items from her today. You could keep buying rugs and stack up on the rug icon, like the little rug tickets if you wanted, but you won't be able to exchange- oh, what's this? You won't be able to exchange anything with her in order to, like, get more- you won't be able to exchange the exchange tickets with her again tonight. That's what I was trying to say. You are aware that furniture and clothing you buy is added to your Nook shopping category, yes? Were you also aware that you can earn miles for a large category? Well, you certainly are aware now. Yay! Casual materialist! <laughs> oh, I can't wait. I hope we have lots and lots of items. I hope they do tons of updates to just keep adding items. I, will, I already will pay DLC for this game. Alright, and now we're gonna go ahead and we're going to buy the mysterious wallpaper and flooring that she will sell as many of as we want today. And the mysterious wallpaper is 3,000 bells, that's fine. I think these ones aren't quite as rare as the ones that you get for exchange tickets, but we'll have to see. Surely your eyes will grow wide, like mouth of a yawning beluga whale. Your heart will race when you see it. Yay! Okay. And then let's go ahead and buy the flooring. Mysterious flooring costs only 3,000 bells. Will it become yours? Of course! She's cleaning me out on my money all over again, but it's totally gonna be worth it. Thank you, Sahara. I'm so glad you were here so that we could show everyone how this works. There we go. Alright, so... There's everything I got from her last night, sans a few rugs that I sold. <laughs> and here's everything that we got from her tonight. So we have the blue design kitchen mat, the fluffy rug, the shanty mat as our large rug, and then we bought the ramshackle wall from her and the dirt flooring from her. So we, we got like really poor items from her for, we'll save, we'll save the mysterious ones we exchange for the items that we could buy from her tonight. And we'll check and see what everything looks like. I'm so excited for this part. Oops, I didn't mean to put my succulent planter in there. That's okay. All right, so let's go ahead and see what we've got. I'll turn on the, the KK songs. I need to buy more KK songs. There we go. So we can party while we're doing this. So here's the blue design kitchen floor. Interesting! That's got a special look to it. Here's the fluffy rug. <gasps> it's so cute! I don't mind having extras of these. Oh, it looks so soft. I could just curl up on it during a rainy day. And then let's see. Here's the shanty mat. <gasps> oh, I actually could totally use this somehow. I wish I could put it outside. Oh, that's kind of cool. Okay, we'll work on that later. Uh, and I'm going to turn the radio down a little bit, which I love I can do that. There we go. All right, and let's see. So we have the shanty floor. I guess she's like selling a lot of shanty stuff today. And here's the ramshackle wall. Oh my gosh, we could just make this place look completely like an abandoned building. And here's the dirt flooring. <gasps> it changes everything! Oh my gosh, I like the dirt flooring. Oh, look, 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 look. There's little puffs of dirt as I run on it. It's actually a dirt floor. 
Oh, that's so cool. Wow. Okay, but this is definitely not a look I would want for our, our biology research center that we're trying to build. So let's go ahead and see what are the two mystery ones that she actually gave us today. We have the berry chocolates flooring and the ringside seating. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's one of the animated walls. I, I think you can only get the animated walls from doing exchanges with her. But look at this. This is so perfect. I wish I could give this to like some of the villagers who who look like they always want to rustle something. This is hilarious. You know, it says ringside seating, but I kind of feel like you could do it for a concert. So not just like maybe maybe for rustling, but it looks like something you could set up for a concert or you could set up for like a fashion show. Wow. Okay. And I like the berry chocolate. That's pretty cute. Neither are entirely my style though. So let's go and put our original ones back on for now. And we'll go ahead and put the nook ink flooring back down. All right, so that's really interesting. Uh, and now I have a whole bunch of floors and things we need to figure out what to do with. I think I'm okay without the blue design kitchen mat. I like having the fluffy rug, so we'll keep at least one of those. The shanty mat could be useful in the future. Dirt flooring, I actually really like, could be useful in the future. Ramshackle wall could be useful in the future. Um, but what we can do is some of these ones we'll be able to purchase again. Ringside seating, I'll just put in storage for now. Uh, the botanical rug I love, we'll put that in storage for now. And then we've got the berry chocolate flooring. Some of those we can actually buy from the nook stop again. And others of them are limited. They're very rare items that you can only get from her randomly after those exchanges. So we'll have to figure out which one's which. All right, let me go ahead and drop some of these. And we'll drop the blue design kitchen mat, the ramshackle wall, fluffy rug, extra fluffy rugs. <laughs> All right, and now that that's done, I've got to show you guys the really, really freaking cool rugs and wallpaper that my friends helped me collect, because these are going to blow your mind. All right, let's see. Some of these are just so amazing. We'll do the, the wallpaper, because the rugs are rugs. The wallpaper and the floors, now that's something special. It was really fun, because we would be like getting different items from her, and then everybody would be like, oh, what'd you get, what'd you get? And then all of a sudden they'd be like, whoa! All right, Siri, this one's yours. Because <laughs> they know me so well for some of these. You'll see what I mean. All right. So what we got from her tonight, interesting, useful for doing themed rooms, not entirely based around helping us to build up our wildlife biology research center. Uh, there we go, we'll turn on the bright light. However, let me show you what we actually have. We have paintball wall, which would be great for like an art room. And I know I have, so we also have a second ramshackle flooring. <laughs> oh wait, I have the ramshackle wall and this is the ramshackle flooring. Actually, really great in my opinion, if we were going to have a, a room that was going to be a laboratory. Also, check out how the windows have now changed due to being a part of the, uh, the window aesthetic has changed with the wallpaper that we put down. And then, let's see. Now, this is really cool. I think you guys will really like this, but let me find... Here is... That's the parking floor. Here's the paintball floor. So, I got the whole paintball set last night. I think this would be really fun for doing like an art experiment on. And then I also have a parking floor uh, place horizontally. Oh my gosh, look at that. It's actually little parking spots. I hadn't seen that one yet. And it can match with the chain link fence. Look at the chain link fence really carefully. It has depth of field. When you move the camera, you can actually see different parts of it move, see? Now we're looking at the skyline, then lift up and you can see the little park around here. Isn't that so cool? Even though you don't have windows with the chain link fence, it makes you feel like you have just a, a beautiful like scene, like you're outside in a way. I love it. I am a big sucker for the depth of field of wallpaper because I just think that it has such a nice touch to it. 
Oh my gosh. All right, so let me show you guys some of the other things. Uh, I also have a circuit board wall. If we wanted to be like completely into science and research, which I thought was interesting. And I have, let's see, this chain link fence I've showed you guys. Nooking floor, paintball wall. The blackboard wall was kind of interesting. I think it's a little bit not my style, but this would be good for some people for a kitchen or like setting up a little cafe. And then also speaking of cafe, I got the dark chocolate floor. So now we have the berry chocolate floor and the dark chocolate floor. I think I actually have, I must have, yeah, the dark chocolate wall. So I got the whole dark chocolate wall set. Look at the bottom where it's little tin foil. Isn't that precious? We're gonna have to have one room that we set up just to be like the specialized room for special events because this is just amazing. All right, and now I've got to show you guys the good stuff. So let me find some of the really good ones. I already showed you the ramshackle floor, right? Yeah, that's the ramshackle floor. Whoa! The foil, the foil actually had, look, it changes the reflection on the foil. Oh, I love these kinds of little details and Easter eggs. This is just fantastic. All right, but now I need to show you guys some cool stuff. So we have a dig site floor, which is absolutely amazing. And it too has little differently colored puffs of dirt as you run across it. We're definitely going to be using this dig site floor in one of our rooms when we expand our biology research center. Oh, that's so cool. All right, and then let's see. The other cool thing I really have to show you guys. Let me make sure I get it right. All right, have I shown you all of the big ones? I think I've shown you guys all the big ones. So that means it's time. It's time to show you the ones that completely made me flip, that just had me falling to pieces with excitement. We'll start with the floor. The Daisy Meadow! Look at this Daisy Meadow! Isn't it so cute? And then we'll go ahead and we will look at the Misty Garden Wall. I've saved the best for last. Look at this! Do you see this? Do you see how amazing this is? There's rain coming down behind the hydrangeas. I just love this. This is a peaceful, gorgeous scene that I absolutely, absolutely am in love with. I can't believe these are the wallpapers that we can get now. This is the, the like little nature scene you can set up. And if it is, if it's, you know, just not quite enough for you, if you're like, wow, I mean, it's really pretty, but it kind of feels a little bit close. Well, my friends, may I introduce to you the mountain vista. Look at this one. <laughs> oh my goodness. I love it. 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 Isn't it so beautiful? Just all around us, beautiful mountain vistas surrounding us on all sides. Oh, I love this. We definitely could make a really amazing little biology like specialty center based off of this stuff. This is so fantastic. Which one is your guys' favorite? Because we need to figure out which one we're going to use. Do we like the Misty Garden Wall? I'm kind of in the mood for the Misty Garden Wall because it's spring and it's been raining a lot over here. Or do you guys like the Meadow Vista, which is also really amazing. And I could have sworn that I had another flower floor, but I may have misplaced it due to, um, due to all of us exchanging rugs and like looking at the different designs last night. So I'll try to find it. All right, let me put my favorites in storage. We could also go back to the simple white cloth wall, which feels a little bit like a, a letdown at the moment. So I'm gonna leave the misty wall. All right, let's see. Chain link fence I think is also pretty cool. The nook ink flooring I still love. The paintball wall, the circuit board wall. Parking floor is cool, but uh, dig site flooring, absolutely amazing. Blackboard wall, I'm okay with. Dark chocolate wall, eh, they're cute enough, and I have the set, so we'll go ahead and save both of those. <laughs> 
<laughs> Sorry about that, guys. I got distracted because, like, I heard a scratching noise, and I was like, oh my gosh, is there, like, a snake in my walls or something in real life? And it turns out Chips was, like, scratching at my door because he needed my webcam. Yeah, we're handling our quarantine just fine. Don't worry about us. Anyway, let's put the last of these things away. The blackboard wall? Yeah, no. Uh, also, I want to look at the Diplo skull and the Tricera torso. I don't know if I want to keep them at this stage. Let's check them out really quickly. Let's just see what they look like. Oh wait, I put it in storage. <laughs> okay, that's not quite gonna help us. Um, I have one succulent planter in here. Oh, I haven't shown you guys my plasma ball. I actually got this last night. I've got to show you all the really cool items that we collected last night. Um, let me grab that Diplo skull out of storage really quickly. Diplo skull, Diplo skull. Oh, I love it! Oh my gosh, he's a long neck boy! You guys know how much I love the long neck boys? Oh, that's so cool! Oh my goodness! Okay, I think if we're gonna keep anything, keeping the skulls. Ah, why did I put it in storage again? Keeping the skulls might be really a good move. Um, that sounds a lot creepier now that I said that out loud. <laughs> but compared to like, oh, look at this torso. <gasps> this is so cool. What if I could, could I like smoosh them together? I want to smoosh them together because I think that would be kind of funny. I can make my own hybrid dinosaur. Whoops, I totally missed that. Okay, that's kind of hilarious that you could just like mishmash a dinosaur together. <laughs> Oh, wow. All right. But let's go ahead and grab this. I, I, I think as much as it would be fun to keep the extra fossils, we might want to consider selling them just because we have so far to go before we have a big enough biology research center to do that. Uh, but all right, I need to show you guys a whole bunch of my other items too. So let's dig around inside of the mail because I haven't checked the mail yet today and that is something I meant to do. And to celebrate Sahara being here and all of these amazing new decoration items we have for our really awesome little biology research center that we're building here. Oh, oh and I see a tiger beetle. I'm gonna catch him. Get my net. Got him. But to celebrate, yeah, I pounced first. Uh, to celebrate all of the amazing new items we have, let's pay off our house to Tom Nook tonight! We're gonna pay him off, you guys, so that that way we can have a larger house. And let's see what the mail has. Holy moly, there's a bit of mail! <laughs> Alright, so we have a letter from Drama King. Hello, Drama King. Thank you very much. He has given us like, three gifts, so we're gonna check out what he's got. Hi, hi from Drama King. He's one of our good friends. Just sending us some presents. And then we have another gift from Gulliver, because we saved him two days in a row. Avast, Siri. I wanted to thank you for saving my life, but I never got your number. I hope regular mail is okay. Did you know people still do these? Wild. Anyway, please enjoy this weird souvenir from me. Thanks again, from Gulliver the Castaway. Thank you, Gulliver. And then I actually took some time to write Pierce and Ursula both letters, and I sent them little gifts of the things that I had collected around the island. So let's see what Pierce says. Yo, Siri, I got your present. I didn't expect it to be so fun to lift. You went all out surprising me like that. I think I sent him a piece of fruit. I don't want to be outdone, so I got you something too. Totally perfect for you, right? Buds, Pierce. Yay! I want to raise my friendship with our villagers, and you can do that and eventually become friendly enough that you can give them gifts and they'll give you things in return. Uh, but it takes time to like build up that relationship now. So we'll try to go out of our way to really bond with Pierce and Ursula. I think that'd be fun. To the awesome Siri, way to surprise a gal. I definitely wasn't expecting to get a present. You made me realize something I've been wrong on. I've got to, to write more from the heart than the head. If you get the urge, write me back. Keep on rocking, Ursula. That's so cute. And they both sent me a little like clover paper. All right, so let's see what we got here. Present from my friend. <gasps> Hamster cage! Yes! Oh my gosh! Alright, let's see what else he sent us. Thank you, Dra- Oh, mini cactus set! What the heck? Thank you, Drama King! It- Oh, he sent us plants and a hamster cage! He sent us a class hamster, you guys! That's so exciting! We're gonna have a classroom hamster for our biology research center! Yes! Oh, I'm so tickled. Alright, let's open up the present from Gulliver. Coin headpiece. Oh! <gasps> 
Oh! Days. Let's go inside and look at this. I've got to see this. This is just so fun. You guys! It's been like four days and I already have some of the most amazing things I ever dreamed of. This is so cool. <laughs> Thank you, Gulliver. Holy cow. That is awesome. What does it look like if we just place it down? Oh, that's so cool. That would be so perfect for a museum. Just imagine like having this as a museum decoration. And then let's go ahead and put this little lamp away. And we're gonna need to make ourselves a new table because we have a classroom hamster. <gasps> Look at him, you guys. Oh, we need a name. We need a name for a new class hamster. He is now, he and the snail are now official members of the Pixel Biology community's efforts at Pixel biology of Wildberry Island, where eventually we will start talking about more real life animal facts. But right now we're enjoying the camping element of setting everything up. Uh, I'm gonna get the wasp head and, whoops, oh no, my music. I'm gonna get the wasp head and uh, some of the other things kind of put away for now. <laughs> this is so cute. Okay, my pockets are full. I'll put the other switch away. Nintendo Switch. I could probably actually sell that because I have a Switch already. Uh, so I'll sell that Switch. I'll put the butterfly fish model away. The tape deck. We'll put it back down, I guess. I'll work with this. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Down you go, tape deck. There you go. We'll turn you on in a bit. I want to get something more soothing than the safari thing now. But you guys! Our pet hamster and a really cool coin hat already. This is so cool. I can't wait to see what Pierce sent us. Yay! All right, classroom hamster, everybody. I'm going to need your guys' help at figuring out what to name him. This is very important. All right. And, oh. Wow, that's really peaceful. You can hear him running on his tiny little wheel. And did you see when I was moving him, he held still? This is just so fun. I love him so much. He's so perfect. Everything about this is so perfect. <laughs> All right, and let's go ahead and see what Pierce gave us as a gift too. Tiny shades. Oh my God. Oh, I love that. We're going to have to give Pierce more things. That's really funny. That's not something that I would wear right now, but I'm going to remember that it exists because that's really funny. All right, we'll push that over there. All right, and this is not all. I actually have a couple more gifts from my wonderful friend, Drama King. He is quite awesome. A good friend of Chips and I's. And it's meant a lot to be able to all just hang out together on these long nights. Because they are also, uh, you know, working from home right now. And, you know, it's just been great for morale to be able to, to hang out with my friends. And I, I've never actually had that my whole life before. This is the first time in my life I've actually just relaxed and played with friends. And I'm turned 32 in two days. Because I just have never had that opportunity or the friends, to be honest. I know that sounds really sad, but I was just, like, always working and studying. So I love that I'm able to show you guys how cool they are with all of the kindness and gifts that they give me. So let's actually put down the peach chair because I know you guys are gonna just love this. Look at this! <laughs> I love it. Oh my gosh. He has a peach island. So in exchange for 10 peaches and some wood, he's able to make us peach chairs. Are they not the most precious things? I love this so much. I wanna have a full fruit set because this is just too adorable. And then he's also able to go ahead and give us, uh, let me go ahead and show you guys, this amazing creation. This terrifying and amazing peach surprise box. Ta-da! It's a giant peach! Isn't it the cutest thing? We're totally going to leave it out during like cherry blossom festival time as a decoration piece. It's so adorable. But why is it called the peach surprise box, you ask? Because of this. Yeah. <laughs> 
baby pops out of the peach. And for those of you guys who don't know, this is based on a Japanese myth uh, about Momo, uh, like a baby who pops out of a peach and ends up being raised by a village. I think he goes on to become a hero too. But I just thought that was so hilarious when, when he managed to create it. Oh my goodness, that's so cute. All right, let's zoom in. And I wonder, peach baby. Peach babies. And up, let's do that again. And down a little. So, you know, they say babies come from the cabbage patch sometimes. Not this one, this one comes from the peach. All right, that should be good. Ah, perfect! Absolutely wonderfully lined up. <laughs> All right, so that takes care of the peach baby. I'm probably just going to use those as like giant peach decorations, but that's amazing. So I really like these items. I think I'm okay with selling the cute floor lamp and tiny shades. Oh yeah, and then he also gave us a couple more plants, which I actually haven't seen yet. So let's place this. Oh, this is one of my favorite plants. I actually have a lily like this that I have uh kept alive for years that's from my aunt and oh that's so pretty that's so nice of him to give us a lily let's come down here and then we'll also put down the succulent plant that one of my friends gave me and then we'll come over here and put down the mini cactus set oh it's so cute this is starting to look more like my home isn't it <laughs> And really, I realized we don't need to keep the, like, a bed because I have another island that's home island, and this is work island. So I'll show you guys home island sometime soon, too. Chips has been working so hard on it. Also, I got this plasma ball, which is totally perfect for using in some sort of cool setup for a science lab we can have in the future uh, from... A villager named Axel, a large elephant who we actually visited on another one of my friend's islands whose birthday was yesterday. And I gave him one of my extra rugs that I had gotten from Sahara. And in exchange, he gave me this rare like plasma ball and I got a special title from him because visiting a villager on their birthday is kind of a rare occasion and you get an opportunity to give them a present in exchange for a gift that they will give back of somewhat equal value. So I highly recommend making sure to visit people's birthdays if you know that their birthday is like a, a, gonna happen soon. All right, wasp pad model, you're definitely going in storage. Everything else I'm pretty comfy with selling. So phew, all right. Now that we have accomplished all of that chaos. Let's see, let's go ahead. Oh, there's so much stuff, so much stuff to sell. Ram shackle wall, I'll sell you. Mmm, berry chocolate floor, I'll sell you. Fluffy rug, I'll keep one fluffy rug. I think I already put a fluffy rug away, so we can sell these fluffy rugs. Uh, and I'm thinking I can actually hold on to some of these extra rugs, actually, because I have a lot of extra rugs. <laughs> and I can send, let's send some of them to the villagers. In fact, I wonder if I can send some of these to the villagers. Oh, that would be kind of cool. Huh. I don't want to give them like a ramshackle rug. Maybe I could send the cute floor lamp as a gift and the berry chocolate flooring. Okay, I want to try sending the berry chocolate flooring to Ursula and see if she uses it. Um, and would I want to give anything else as a gift to somebody? The paintball flooring, blackboard wall. I wonder if I could use these as things to build. Huh. I don't want to give somebody ramshackle stuff. Well, maybe I do. Like, just as a, a fun... We'll leave the ramshackle set down here, too. And I'll go ahead and put down one of the fluffy rugs. And try giving at least one of them to the villagers as a gift. <laughs> and we'll see how that works out, and if they put it in their house. Alright, let's go ahead... And now we are going to sell all this extra stuff over at the Nookling shop, actually. And then go to Tom Nook, and we're going to see about paying off our house. <laughs> so that we can have an even bigger and better biology center. And we're going to see if he has any projects for us so that we can continue to improve the village. Timmy, Tommy, good evening! I totally meant to hang out with you guys earlier, but I got a little bit tired. 
All right, I'm gonna sell all this stuff to you. What is your favorite thing that you saw tonight, guys? Because all of these are pretty amazing. Mant not the mantis. I need to give the mantis to Blathers. Um, I kind of want to save the Nintendo Switch and give it to a villager, but let's see how much it might sell for after we sell these. All right, what do you think, guys? 13,000 bells? That's pretty good. Thank you. And if I sold you guys this Switch, what do you guys think about it? We might have to do a little bit of carpentry work for them. All right, what if I sold you this? 7,000 bells. It it costs 30,000 bells to buy, guys. 7,000 is pretty good, though. That would definitely let me pay off the house. But, I mean, maybe that would be a really cool gift to give Pierce. Because he's really looked out for us, so I'm okay. I'm going to go ahead and give this to Pierce. Thanks, guys. All right. Bye, guys. All right, so let's pay off our house. And then we're going to talk... Oh. Hey, my friend Dinkles is on. He's the one who I got the dung beetle from because he's in the southern hemisphere. He hangs out at Dinkleburg. <laughs> All right. I'm also jealous because he has a turtle. We'll talk more about that later. Uh, and over here is where we would actually come to pay off our house. Yay, bonus miles! So let's actually come over. We'll pay off the house really quickly. Because I happen to have... The loan balance is 98,000 bells. I totally forgot we had 83,000 bells in storage. What the heck? We have a lot of money! Wow! Let's pay from pockets the full amount and pay off our house. Ta-da! Yay! We paid off our home loan, guys! We're going to be building up our really wonderful little biology research center. The Wildberry Research Center. It's coming. I'm so excited. We've earned some bells. We just spent a ton of bells. Let's see. No more loan payments. You see how this works? You pay off your loan. You get some Nook Miles. Thank you for doing business with Nook Inc. Thank you, Tom Nook. Responsible bill payer. Wonderful. We have so many new titles to play with. All right, and let me have a sip of tea. Celebratory sip of tea. <sighs> While we prepare to talk to Tom Nook about being able to get a bigger house. Also, do you like how he has a little golfing set now that Timmy and Tommy have their own shop? Isn't that so cute? <laughs> As always, I must offer my hearty congratulations. You've paid off your loan in full. I expected nothing less, of course, but occasions like this are cause for celebration, hmm? I suppose they're also a good time to take stock and reflect. Yes, yes. I'm sure your home is quite comfy in its current configuration, but what if it could be bigger? Oh, I assure you that it can, indeed, be bigger. A bigger home means more space for furniture, and more storage, too. And now that I have introduced some possibilities, I will leave it at that. Do please come see me if you'd like to hear more, hmm? Oh, I would like to hear more, Tom. Hello, hello, indeed. Yes, about my home. Well, hmm, for your home, I think I'd recommend making the room larger. That would require taking out a loan of 98,000 bells. Interested? 198,000. Let's do it. Wonderful. I'm so happy for you. I'm going to make sure construction begins right away. Oh, it occurs to me. This might be a good time to consider a new color for your roof, don't you think? No, no, no. No, you see, no. This is going to be the Wildberry Wild Research Center. So, we're sticking with green. There we go. Construction on your home should be finished up by tomorrow. I'll bet you're even more excited than I am. Thank you, Duck! Alright, so we now are going to be having a bigger house tomorrow. But let's also help out the growing village. What should I do? Oh, so you're ready to help me prepare. Here's what I'm thinking. We really should start by building a bridge across a river somewhere. With three homes to build, I worry that we'll run out of space on land that's easily accessible. A bridge will open things up a bit and make it easier to, to get to housing plots during construction, hmm? So, that's why I'd like you to start by crafting the parts for a bridge base. Get your DIY skills ready. And then you'll want to decide on a prime location for the bridge, too. 
All right, all right. What do we have here? And done! I've just sent you a recipe for the bridge construction kit. You can find it on your Nook phone. Once you've assembled your bridge construction kit, find a good spot for a bridge and then check in with me. It can be a little tricky to place a bridge, but we can talk if you have trouble or need some advice. Good luck, Siri. Yay! Okay, guys, so let's check out our DIYs. Uh, oh, by the way, I also learned a new DIY for the Star Wand, which we'll talk about later, and for an iron wood dresser, which I thought was pretty cool. We might want to build that dresser or at least a bookshelf so that we'll be able to put our little class hamster somewhere nice. But here we have the bridge construction kit. So with four clay, four stone, and four log stakes, which we actually build down here, we will be able to build a bridge. So let's go ahead and get the DIY kit up and going. This will just take a quick second, I think, and it's a great way to start expanding Wildberry. All right, clay, stone, wood. Well, come on over here. What can I build? Let's craft. Now I'm gonna go ahead. Log sticks, I need more wood. I have a lot of wood. <laughs> I have been actually saving a ton of it in storage and it's gonna be so nice to have more storage. Yay, look at our place! I can't believe how quickly everything changes and we just have like more and more new stuff. And we've been doing double daily episodes and I still can't keep up with all of the awesomeness. All right, hardwood, softwood. Where's just my normal wood? I know I have a lot of normal wood somewhere. Uh-oh. Did I drop it down? I think I actually dropped it down by the water, or the, the water, by the ship. Let me see. Because I needed space for rugs last night. Where's my, where's all my wood? I swear I had a ton of wood. I just don't know where it's gone. Like, I have a lot of it. Jeez, I must have dropped it somewhere. Aw, oh, man. Okay, guys, well, give me just a second. Man, I had a ton of just normal wood. I have no idea where it's all gone. That's okay. We'll go ahead and craft up a flimsy axe really quickly. We'll have to wrap up for tonight pretty soon. I might keep going and then later, to, like early, early tomorrow, we'll have a late night update episode. Let's see. My flimsy axe. Gonna need you. Oh, so loyal flimsy axe. And if you don't mind, those are all hardwood. Thanks. And there we go. Normal piece of wood. Oh, I see a whole bunch of the man face beetles on our hyacinth spot there. We're gonna have to go ahead and collect those because they're a thousand apiece. But we'll do it later. For now. Dun, 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 dun. Ta da! Stone axe. And if we want to continue on with the DIY bridge kit, then we need to get four log stakes. To get four log stakes, we need 12 wood. That shouldn't take too long. All right, and actually, while we're doing this, not the big axe, we'll cut down the trees. But while we're doing this, I would love to hear what you guys think of Wildberry as we continue to grow. What do you think about all the rugs and all of the cute things that we've got? Here, I'll just focus on finding. There, there's one log stake. That's going to be one stake. Now we need three more wood. And how have you guys been doing? I'm gonna put more effort into trying to make sure that we have our daily episodes at somewhat of a more regular time because for me, Wildberry has been so healing. We'll get into a little bit of personal chatter because you guys have been so patient with everything today. And I know that I really appreciate knowing how you're doing. And there are so many of you guys who are so kind and really appreciate knowing how I'm doing. And it's been a rough few months. As you guys know, we had some stuff going on with my mom's heart attack and then a dear family friend of mine getting breast cancer and having to be on chemo and needing a lot of help. And it's been a wild ride before all of this. Then Chips proposed to me and we got engaged and, you know, after that, all of these other things started happening. And I got really exhausted from how hard I worked in December to get like over 140 videos done in December. 
Oh, and then I traveled to see my family to celebrate our engagement. Oh no, go, 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 come on, come on, I can do this. Catch, oh! Then I got stung by wasp. But I know that makes it sound like a really bad time, but there has been beauty and joy, even in these past few days and weeks in my life with chips. Just, it was taking a lot of work to keep up with everything. And it pulled me away from my Patreon Discord. It's pulled me away from making the usual episodes. But you guys, being here in Wildberry, it it was it's been so healing and wonderful for me. Just spending hours immersed in a world that I can actually craft beauty and wonder into. I needed that. I desperately needed that. And I'm so happy to share it with all of you. So, that's what I mean. I, I can tell it's healing me and giving me strength to recover from the past few months of chaos. And also try to find it within me to be able to show up and, and help out with whatever else is going on in the world. And give us all just a place to draw strength from. So, that's what I mean when I say I'm going to try to get the Wild Berry Adventures up and going a little bit more regularly. And let's go ahead and craft. Because I know it's helped me so much, and I hope it can help some of you. Just to take a few minutes to feel like, hey, alright, maybe everything's a little bit chaotic, but if I take it one step at a time, who knows what I'll be able to create. And I wish I had the ability to heal my eye, but I really want to work on this DIY table for a minute. Alright, there's the second set of log stakes. So yeah, but not to get too down, just... I'm thankful, that's what I'm trying to say, to Wildberry, and for sharing the adventures with all of you. Seeing how it's been such a wonderful place for you guys too gives me so much hope. We'll be able to, to figure it out, you know what I mean guys? Alright, so let's do this. Got our log stakes, and we'll just take it one day at a time. And now, ta-da! We've got the bridge construction kit! So now we can go ahead and figure out where to put our bridge. So we can try to put our bridge over the river. Uh, it seems like everything is going wild. DIY furniture is going wild. Handmade resident is now a title we could use. Rough hewn is going wild because we've now apparently had over 200 pieces of wood or 500 that we've collected. Uh, I think, do we need to talk to Tom Nook after that? Or can I just put it, put the actual bridge down? Because I want the bridge to go behind the museum. Oh, hey! There's our bell spot. Actually, maybe we should put the bridge over here. I think that's a better idea. There we go. I, I've started quite the orchard on the other side of the bridge, or on the other side of the river right here. All right, grow for me, little plant. Or grow for me, grow for me. So I think I want the bridge to go right here because it will help us to reach another area that we're probably going to put a lot more resident houses down on since we're going to leave the cliff sides and the uh, southeast side of the island dedicated to little nature trails and nature education areas. All right, and can I build here? Let's see, reserve this spot for the log bridge. What would it look like? that I think I want to move it over just one though so let's scoot over one and try that all right does it take out my little tree it does but I actually like this a lot uh, okay that's a good one There we go, guys! We have picked a spot for the bridge. Let the land connect. This is going to be awesome. All right. Well, I'm very happy with everything that we have actually done today. I've shown off all the rugs and the really cool furniture uh, that I managed to collect from Sahara. I have to search the beach in a little bit for any star pieces, but I don't think we'll actually... <gasps> Yay! Quickly, 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 quickly! Where's the slingshot? Wait, where's the slingshot? Go, 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 go! Okay, go, 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 go! Come on! Oh, we got it, guys! We got it just at the last minute! Alright, what is this? Iron nuggets! Nice! Those are always useful. 
Yeah, even though I wished on a bunch of stars with my friends last night, I don't think we have the star pieces washed up on the beach because we haven't met Celeste on this island yet. I'm thinking that may be the case. We'll have to see. Uh, all right, but anyway, let's go ahead and make some medicine before I talk to Tom Nook. We will speak to Tom Nook, and then I will tidy up the island. I will gather up my, my crafting material, and we'll figure out what we're going to do. There we go, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Sending gifts to people. There we go, all done for now. Gathering up money. Maybe I'll even be able to pay off some of our, our house to make the house even bigger. And let's tell Tom Nook about it. Wildberry Island continues to grow wild. Dun dun. Ah, Siri. Hello, hello. So, did you find a good place to deploy your bridge construction kit? Set it up. Splendid. Excellent work. Thank you. Then tomorrow we'll have a new bridge up and it'll be even easier to get around the island. Now that that's out of the way, it's time to start on some homes. We can wait for bridge construction to finish if you want. Or just ask me, what should I do whenever, hmm? Alright, we're gonna ask him just to know. What should I do? Siri, the bridge won't be ready until tomorrow, but do you want to start on the homes now? Please take these three housing kits. This is so exciting! With the housing kits I just gave you, you'll pick out plots for three homes. Then, of course, these homes need furniture and such. Each housing kit comes with a list of the furniture required for its house, so be sure to read those lists. You can build everything DIY style, so just let me send you those recipes you'll need. Oh, this is so cool! Are we gonna have even more recipes now? I think that's all from me. Thanks for all the help! All right, so now we have housing kits and I guess we need to like imagine what they would need. So let's go out and just like randomly imagine so we have an idea over the stuff that we need to collect. Or maybe you have to deploy it first and then you can imagine. Huh. So, oh, I saw him. I saw him. He's not sneaking up on me. All right, maybe I scared him away. I think I scared him. Me! Get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready, and... Oh, he got me! <laughs> oh, Alright. That's probably good for now, friends. I will try to figure out the housing kits, and we will figure it out so we can invite more villagers here to Wildberry Island so that they can start helping me learn about the wonders of the ecology of here and the other local islands. So, if you guys could, do please leave a like for our adventures. I hope you are all having a, a, as good a time as you can, all considering, you know? And I can't wait to share more of this wonderful world with you. So, I'll see you guys in the morning. Bye-bye!